In this video, we're going to go over how to make a Pharmac 4 in MOE. So Pharmac 4s are basically the different interactions that take place when ligands are bound to receptors. So they can be hydrogen bond interactions, pi pi stacking interactions, or other interactions that help hold the ligands in their place. Here's an example of one of these interactions. So here I am showing the benzodiazepine binding pocket of the GABA-A receptor, and you can see alprazolam is bound into this pocket. If I show the structure here of alprazolam, you can see that on this structure there's a chlorine on it. Now if I go back here, here's the chlorine, and we can see that that makes a hydrogen bond interaction with this amino acid. We know that this hydrogen bond interaction is really important for the binding of alprazolam. That also means that if we were to dock in other benzodiazepines that have a halogen in this position, it would also likely have the same hydrogen bond interaction. So what we can do is create a pharmacophore that has this specific interaction so that when we dock in different benzodiazepines that have a halogen in this position, they'll be more likely to have this hydrogen bond interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Then I have a database here where I have diazepam draw. So I'm going to send this to MOE. And you can see diazepam is a benzodiazepine that has, again, a chlorine in that same position. So we're going to make a pharmacophore basically for that chlorine to help with that bonding interaction. To do that, we'll go to Compute and Pharmacophore in the Editor. From here, we'll go to Consensus, and it'll bring up this screen. On this screen, we'll click Calculate. And you can see here all the different potential interactions that Emma we found. For instance, with this imine here, there's a potential hydrogen bond interaction there. With this carbonyl oxygen, there's a couple potential hydrogen bond interactions. Looks like there's also some potential pi pi stacking with these aromatic rings. And then of course, the one that we care about is this hydrogen bond interaction here with the chlorine. So that is G6. So we're going to select G6 here and click load selected. Now back on this window, there's a couple things we need to change here. There's this scroll bar here where you can see if I scroll up or down, it changes the size of the ring there. And what that is doing is changing the potential distance of a hydrogen bond interaction. For instance, if I made the ring really small, that means it could only form a hydrogen bond interaction very close to the chlorine. However, if I made the ring very large, that means it could form a hydrogen bond interaction much farther away. So let's set this somewhere in between at about one. The other thing I need to do here is check essential. That means that we know that this hydrogen bond interaction is essential to the binding, and so by checking essential, MOE is going to do its best to create a hydrogen bond interaction when docking these ligands. I can then name this. I will call this hydrogen halogen interaction. And then save it. Great. Now we have our Pharmac 4 made and saved. So now to use this, we can go ahead and close this out. I'll go ahead and close this. And I'll open the GABA receptor that we have prepared. So here's again the benzodiazepine binding pocket of the GABA receptor. And when we're ready to dock our ligands, we'll go to Compute and Dock. We will then dock the ligands just as I have shown in a previous video. The only difference is we're now going to include a PH4 file. So instead of none, we're going to select PH4 file and then select the file icon, and then go choose our hydrogen halogen interaction that we just made. And now when we dock our ligands, MOE is gonna try its best to create that hydrogen halogen interaction to get the best docking possible.